Today we're checking out some amazing new Figma plugins which are going to take your Figma game from here to here. So without further ado, let's just get started with the video. The first plugin we're looking at is called Physics Animation. And as the name suggests, it is an actual plugin which allows you to create real physics animations with the elements on screen. So you can enable a title to have animations which are animations which are pulled to it. So that will act like gravity on that element. Now this has a seven day trial. So you can try this for seven days, create something cool for seven days. And if you wanted to create it for your actual projects or for a long term, you can take their premium subscription. I think this is great for web developers and designers out there who want to create something crazy in Figma and then also export it. This tool also allows you to export your animations in the form of GIF, WebM, as well as SVG animations. Animation. The only thing missing here might be JSON, so maybe they should look into it. Now there's this new series called the Ruri series. They have Ruri Gradiator, Ruri Splines. They also have something called Ruri Curves and Ruri Art Artwork Generator. So in general, the series creates creative assets background images and helps you create cool stuff for your designs. For example, my favorite is Ruri Gradiator, which allows me to cr create incredible as well as unique gradients inside Figma, which is not possible in such a quick and easy way. Now here it is very easy to just adjust everything in this area. You can change it from a linear to a radial gradient. So that also works. You can even change it from a circle to a rectangle. Apart from that, you can increase or decrease the number of grids. You can increase or decrease the amount of space the gradient covers like this. Oh, it looks so satisfying. Apart from that, you can change the colors of these from here as well with this color picker. You can even use this to pick colors from your actual project. And for output, you have four options, 1x, 2x, 3x, and 4x. So you can use it for even large scale websites. You can export it as a PNG. This will allow you to use it as a background image on websites, etc. I am absolutely in love with the way it works and the way I can just quickly export it. Apart from this, they have something called a Ruri Artwork Generator, which is a next level for artwork. Now this allows you to generate some really cool custom artwork from right here. For example, I have two colors, I can add the fill, I can change from cube to rainbow, whatever I like, and I can even adjust the amount of randomness there is. So there's no limits to this tool basically. So if I generate, as you can see, this has generated these cool artworks for me right here. And I can even change the width, the height, the number of columns. Another cool series on Figma I'm love with is called Super Series. It's Super Gradient and Super Palette, which take the way you use, generate, and store colors to the next level. Super Gradient, as you can see, allows you to have this little plugin right here. If I say Explore Collection, they have a large set of collection based on different colors. So I can add any color and then I can update whatever shapes or images I want here. I can even adjust anything here in this tool and everything will happen live on the left. I can change the angle, I can change the number of gradient steps. That, that is something similar to what you'll find in Figma already. However, here you can even import colors from your design library, your design system, as well as save custom gradients based on their style, etc. with different styles as well. So for example, I really like this one in radial. I'll say pink radial. And there you go, create a style and it's on top here like a little story. Now Super Palette went viral on various platforms. That is for a reason. Once I run it here, as you can see, I have an entire palette right here, which is based on a certain name also, I like it. You can lock each of these colors to be your primary color and you can adjust all the other colors while this stays the same. Apart from that, you can choose between whether the color should be based on saturation, whether it should be based on lightness or whether it should be opaque or transparent. So I think this is an incredible way to create color palettes, which gives you complete flexibility. You can even save these colors in your design system. Now, apart from this, you can even import color systems from other design systems like Adobe Spectrum, Framer X, Horizon, Chakra, and Design. I personally like the IBM design language a lot. So I can quickly just click here and say, insert guide and this will insert the complete guide into my Figma project right here. 
and then you can go ahead and edit these on your own. Apart from that, whatever palettes you've generated will be saved here so that you can access them later on or you can share it with other people by saying import palette or you can just export it by clicking export palette and then you can export it as a JSON and your entire team can then have access to this palette. I think one of the best color tools that they'll ever be on Figma. I don't think there's any space for improvement. Now this little plugin does a very big task. It converts your Figma presentations into an actual PPT. Now I want to know in the comments below how many of you have created presentations in Figma. It's crazy how Figma can be an all-in-one tool. But the only problem is whenever you create something in Figma, you can't really export it to a PPT presentation. So here you can quickly add a slide with deck and you can of course remove slides, add slides and organize them by order. Once that is done, you can say generate. As you can see on screen, it'll quickly generate your PPT deck to beta community PPTX and you can save it wherever you like on your system. So this is a really helpful plugin, very tiny but helpful plugin to convert your Figma presentations to an actual PPT which can be shared with everyone. Now this is another amazing creator on Figma going by Johan and his accidental create font pairings is a plugin you can't miss. I also have a hard time figuring out the best fonts which will go together well on a website or app. This does it for you. So you can select whether you want this to be made on a dark surface or a light surface, so dark mode, light mode support, as well as once you create something, it appears here like a complete guide. So you have a random font which goes well with another great font which will work on your website or anyone else's website. You even have it displayed in the form of a call to action, little pointers here, numbers, digits, etc. as well as on different colors that you might be able to use. So you have color inspiration as well as font inspiration. And if you want just a normal light mode, it does, it, does that for you. As you can see, a different font paired with another different font. All these fonts, most of these will, you'll find already installed on your system. So it's kind of keeping that in mind. And I really like the overall design that the person has created. Apart from that, they also link a Google Fonts if you want to download it while well, you have it right here with in the form of a Google Fonts link. Now this isn't it. Font Explorer is something which is crazy because not only is it an automatic tool, but it's also very helpful for designers when deciding which font to go with. So imagine you have a screen with a title or multiple headings and subheadings, etc. You want to see how the screen will look with different fonts or how this element will look with different fonts. You open up Fonts Explorer here and you select the number of variations. Before you do that, you have to change whichever text box you have here. You just have to change the name to change me. That's the hashtag you want to apply to whichever elements you want to change. Once that is done, you just select the frames you want and you choose the number of variations. I want 10 variations for now and I want a sans serif type fonts only. So I'll go ahead and say generate. And as you can see, it, it generates the same artboard with all these different fonts. And what's special is that it titles each artboard with the name of that font. So you don't have to click on this and then figure out which one there is. It's all here in the attributes itself. So I think this is a really cool tool if you want to check out your design with different fonts and font family. You know how crazy the design world is right now. All these amazing graphic design and UI design trends like, like new brutalism and the web three style as you can call it. Now generator beta is a tool going to allow you to create web three like designs. As you can see, once I run it, all I need to do is create a quick element right here. This could be any design style, whatever. Once you select a layer like this circle right here, you can then say, okay, I want this to horizontally move or vertically move. Uh, you can have it move in a certain direction in a certain amount like this. You can scale the, you can change the amount of scaling I would need to do like this. You can randomize things as well. You can even increase or decrease the amount of repetitions you have right here as well. So I think this is happening in real time and it looks cool just the way it is. Randomize and sinusoidal, whatever physics terms that is. You can upgrade to the pro version right now for 30% off. I suggest get it if you gonna use this often. Otherwise, this is really cool as a free version as well. I think overall, if you just change the style of one thing, you will see how quickly the entire design also kind of changes with it. 
So I think unlimited possibilities just with one simple tool like this. Am I the only one who faces this problem? 0.5 difference between my elements where I have to manually change it from the actual properties window. That's crazy. Now Pixel Cleaner is gonna help you with that a lot. As you can see, if I open Pixel Cleaner and have two elements, 0.6 centimeters of difference, uh-oh, that's a problem. Well, this thing is gonna just quickly clean it up for you. And it's not about just two blocks or two cards. It's about fonts, typography, shapes. Wherever you think there's gonna be a 0.2 difference in any property, this is gonna help you out. So you can change, you can either select all, or you can just select some elements you want to be fixed. Other things are just as they are. Just say, start pixel clean, and within a few seconds, everything will be normal. As you can see, it was 13.4, now it's just 13. That is exactly what I'm looking for. Go ahead and start experimenting with this, kind of see what all it can fix for you also. Now, Easy Translator is great for people who are designing for multiple languages okay, or who just wanna make a design which will scale up with languages. Easy Translator will just help you choose your artboards and quickly change the language there is in it. So it just picks up the text that is inside those artboards and then converts the language and just places it right there. And the best part about this is that it auto detects languages as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, the thumbs up button is free to press and it motivates me a lot. I also come here every single week. If I miss, just imagine I'm doing something crazy. <laughs> I'll see you next week, same time, same place. Until next time, take care of yourself. God bless.